What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Trucks Only. I'm Harvey from Hutch's Welding. Today we're with the Valonas. We got Ralph and Jordan. Little father-son build on this 53 GMC behind me. What's up, Jordan? Carry that thing around everywhere. How you doing, man? Ralph? Hey, what's up, Ralph? How are you? How are you, man? Good, good. So, um, tell us a little, bit, a little bit about this build. I mean, I know it's a 53 GMC. Yep. Um, now you guys did a lot of cool work to it. There we go. So where'd this girl come from? Gonna air it out. Of course, man. Lay it out for the peasants. From Texas. It's actually, it's from, we actually picked it up right here from Timmy at uh, Avenue Classics. Yeah, Avenue, yeah. Avenue Imports and Classics. I remember right? actually seeing it in that uh, that little area back there. Is that what he goes by, I think, now? Avenue Imports and Classics, yeah. But my father was looking for a, were you looking for a 51? Yep. He was looking for a 51. This is like birth, birth year. Oh, cool. And then uh, I sent Timmy a, a listing of a 51. Where was that truck? Seattle. Seattle. Yeah. It was like halfway done. And then Timmy's like, dude, I have a 53. Come check out the 53. So then we came here, what, like that day or that the next day? A couple days later. It was yeah. sold, huh? You're like, that's it. Yeah, it was, I just want a, it. <laughs> it was just the body and the chassis, the original chassis, no, no motor, nothing. It's like 14, 14 months. Yeah, you actually did it pretty quick. Um, yeah. We did like a brief, brief. Uh, we did the intake on the Yeah, we did the intake on it. We did like a brief talk about when it was in the garage. And yeah, they get these guys build it just uh, on the weekends, you know, father son team and not knocked it, final knocked it out. Uh, what was it? It would say 12 months, 14, 13 months? 14 months. 14 months, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Due to COVID, we stayed home and worked on the truck. That's it. That's it. Yeah, Edison's killer motor. Killer motor. Uh, Badass titanium intake. Yeah. yeah. Who did that? Yeah. Who did that? You by yours truly. Yeah. <laughs> Get them while they're hot. So what uh what engine is this? This is a uh, out of a 18 Silverado. Okay. It's got it's a, it's the L83 LT motor. It's got the direct port injection. Uh, a little different than the LS. A little more horsepower. A little more efficient. A little more modern. Yeah. Um, very cool. Very cool. It's got a um, you know it's got the vintage air AC setup. Jordan and I put this in. We fab fabricated everything for it to work. That's cool. All right. We have a thing that's called it's called it's called a, uh, a quick air front front pulley setup because these motors come without uh, power steering. Oh, that's right. They come electric come electric, uh, power electric power steering. steering, right? So yeah. You so you got to do a, a hydraulic a hydraulic combo. Yep. So we did that. Um, truck is sweet. Runs great. Nice and modern. Look at that. Carb start. How often do you drive it? It's my daily driver. It's your daily driver now, my huh? Daily driver. So all I got is this. And, That's badass. And I got a 33 Ford, but between the two, this is my yeah, daily. yeah. My well, daily. that thing's like super nice and painted, and yeah. you know, you're almost afraid to drive it. You park it in the store, you know, get dinged up. You know, this has, you know, it's patina, so it's yeah, like, so this you know, one give, you give can, me some more you character. Can, you can step on it. <laughs> what you want to do to it? Nice, you know, nice. What you want to do with this thing? Very cool. Yep, it's very, very cool. What uh, transmission you got behind oh, here? Oh yeah, the transmission is uh, six L eighty. Okay. Um, I, I had to have the um, the, the motor. And it's, the six L eighty only has five thousand miles on it. Came out of a nineteen Silverado. Uh, I have my buddy. Well, no, my buddy's my buddy now. Spirit Tech <laughs> Electronic. Well, I spend money, so I guess he's my buddy. Now. Yeah, yeah, that's how it goes, right? Yeah, since I give him money, I'm his friend. Okay, so and, it's uh, a Spirit Tech harness. Yep, and he married the. I had to send the. Uh, you know, you send a tranny um, mod module out. He marries it to the engine. Oh, okay. And you plug this son of a B in and it started right up and here we are. Awesome. You know, just got you know, but you feel easy. Easy stuff. Easy ish. <laughs> easy yeah. stuff. Well you have to know you have to sort of like have some kind of background. You just can't be plugging stuff in. Right. Uh, you have to understand how things work. Um, Wheels are nice. What do you got going on here? Uh these are American racing. American racing, yeah. Yeah, if we have them painted. Um yeah, Jersey. Jer Lucy paint painted. Lucy for baby. Us. Yeah, he, he did all the paint, whatever paint works on here, done by him. He did the interior as well. Painted the uh, the glove box and you can see. Yeah, that matches uh, the intake and the wheels. That's all the matching color. Yeah, yeah. very cool. And if you look down at those um, those pedals, that's Hutch himself. Yes, sir. There's some, some of our pedal. pedals that are uh, our that's prototype right. at the moment. Those will be coming out shortly. Yep, they do the job. Beautiful. Very nice. Beautiful. And of course, we have AccuAir, the E-Level system. Uh, that works great. Goes great. We can show you back here. 
Oh, Ralph, he's got some toolbox. Yeah, what's what's up with this, man? Freak. That came with the truck? No, uh, pops on on eBay, and then he had his uh, pinch driver. Yeah, pinch I like driver. it, man. I like how they match the GMC logo. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. I yeah. remember you guys talking about finishing it up, and yeah, we're gonna finish it up. We're gonna, we I like did it. The, we did the two um, different than everybody else. This is old Bondwood. I found this up in Virginia, and we tried to finish it. Uh, I I don't like that stainless steel uh, stuff in between the in between the wood. Right. Everybody's got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So put the farm wood fabricated. These little you know little doors open up because uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up putting over here. I'm gonna end up putting a little storage compartment. You know when we travel. So it stays out of the weather. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, look at the Acura Air. It has little sensors. Right, you got the yep. so E level, level sensors. Yep. Right, E level height sensors. Yep. Just press a button, it gets to the height that you cool. want. Four link. Four link. What's in the front for the suspension? It's a Mustang 2. Mustang 2. Mustang 2 front end. Cool. Same thing, of course, bag. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and running slam slam bags. Slam bags. Slam is bags. Eight inch in the back and uh, six inch in the front. Cool, cool. Carry the extra weight. It's got tank incorporated fuel tank. It comes pretty simple. It's got you know with the, comes with the. That, pump. Is that just like a universal tank? The universal tank. Or? Yep. Oh, universal cool. tank. You make it fit. And we got the Acura Endo CVT right. The compressors That's inside. Right. Look on the other side. You can see the computer. Yeah, this side. is the latest one. Yeah, plug it right in. It all came in one nice little box, and that light actually it flashes. Yeah, it flashes, and it'll, it'll when flash it's... different colors too when the compressor's running and things like yeah. that. Well, when it's blue, it means it's perfect because green, when it's working, red, you're in trouble. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want that. Um, yeah, this yeah. is cool. The exhaust is that's handy. your filler. It's the filler for the tank. Yeah, you got that yeah. figured out, right? I remember we were talking about that. Yep. Yeah, at first we were gonna center it. It was just too many moving parts with trying to get it to match up when you fold it down. So then we yeah. just figured, just put it on the side. It's, we actually like it, it's nice. Yeah. yeah, the truck's made pretty solid. Like everything, all the, this is all home built. You know, the welding could yeah. be better, but it's- uh, It's all right. It's it's what's it. important, when I was works. telling him last time, is that you guys, you guys did it. You know, you went ahead and you, you took the time and you made it happen in your garage. Yeah. Where a lot of people, you know. That, that cross memory, see, see that cross memory is holding the exhaust? Yeah. That's handmade, we made that. Oh, really? Okay, we made that. Very made, cool. This, made the tranny cross member. This whole frame is boxed and plated. Because I, I originally was gonna put a 427 in here, but I elected to get put the LT motor in. Yeah. Much yeah. better. Yeah, way better. Much better. Way better. Uh, I'll never go with another carburetor car. Yeah. I'm done with carburetors. I agree, man. This truck, this is a farm truck with this farm bumper. At first, I didn't like it, but the seller, Tim from uh, Avenue Import Store. So this is all, this is all just well, kind of custom one-off, huh? It's one-off, yeah. Yeah, this isn't something that usually the bed, it stops here. Right. This is all something that somebody kind of right. fabricated. In the 50s, probably. Yeah, yeah. No, that's tow, super, yeah, that's super tow cool. Truck. Yeah, you probably used to tow around, you know, stuff on the farm with it. Yeah. It only had the one tail light, this, and then, we, this was added. So you actually co copied that, huh? Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. I mean, you did good. I mean, it's 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 rusty. I mean, well, the rust is easy easy part. Just just don't do anything. And it's all yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's good. It just yeah. came out good. Probably this is cool. Good. What's that about? A little lock? Yeah. That's found out on eBay for like twelve bucks. Yeah. Yeah. New York and Staten Asylum. That's awesome. That's man. where I'm originally from, New York. Awesome. That's cool. I love the connection there. Yeah. So you know. Very sweet. Doesn't do a thing, but it look nice. This thing's killer, man. I mean, this Thank thing you, ripping down the road. It's it's super cool. Yeah. Let me start it up. For you. What uh? What's up, what's up with the with the door art? Oh, you know this, anything about that or? Oh uh, yeah. Well, there's uh, this is a original company that's in the, the, t uh, the town is Halton, uh, Texas. Um, I, cool. I guess, I guess at one time they had a repair shop, Halton Motors. Yeah. It was like a Cadillac dealer, dealership. dealership. That's this awesome. This is like the service truck. So this is all original? All original? We That's didn't awesome. touch it. Well, we added the drop, the red drop shadow on it. Okay. Just to kind of pop it. It's interior, we got the Dakota digital gauges. Those are the, the HTX gauges. Uh, they're sweet. Um, they were all yeah, Bluetooth, everything all works Bluetooth. Very, Bluetooth, very nice. Bluetooth uh, radio as well. Um, yeah, don't forget those pedals. That's Just right. Get those pedals. <laughs> The seat's nice. Yeah, the seat's out of a um, Astro Van. 2004 Astro Van. Oh, no way. Yeah, it fit right in there. We, you know, of course, I had to fabricate the mounting. Right. But, uh, Central, uh, Central Upholstery over here in West Palm did the work for me. Cool. Uh, very nice place. Rick's the owner. Took us a few uh, junkyard runs to go. Try to figure out the right, the right seat. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, all the new pickups are too big. And, but it's actually the rear 
the last row seat. The last row seat. Yeah. Let me start this up. Yeah, you. let's hear this thing. What exhaust is on there? We have ourselves a uh, aero chamber muffler. Okay. It's a Stuart Abbott's exhaust, you know, yeah. made it myself. Cool. It's got, uh, it's got engineering one headers. The only company that makes uh, makes headers. Are they swap headers for for just like swaps or are they, they're for that that car, that engine? They're, only, they're for this engine. Okay. They're for this engine. They fit perfectly for you know, you have to have your oxygen sensor back there. Right. Yeah, they fit perfect. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Only company that makes it. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah. yeah my son and I, we spent 13, 14 months working That's on That's awesome. It. I love it. I love the, the story and the history and yeah. and the build. I mean, it came out really awesome. So, yeah. I right appreciate hand you. Hand. Yeah. Appreciate you guys taking the time I, to talk I, about it. Yeah, I drove you. the snot out of it for a few yeah. few months, and then I had to. Now I bought myself. Yeah, I mean, uh, let's, let's talk about that if you, you want to, man. What, got yeah, so excited you know. about this truck that you need to buy your own. Yeah, well, I guess Timmy <laughs> just likes selling his cars. So yeah, that's cool, man. Timmy found this at uh, in Daytona at the Turkey Run. Awesome. So I, I haven't even taken. Where your Where your is that one? Sixty eight. Sixty eight. The patina is killer on it. Super awesome. Couldn't pass it up. No, man, they're these things are hard to get these days, man. They're they're pretty eaten up and rotten and what's the color I wanted and the patina is, is on point, so yeah, it's, it's an Arizona truck, it's clean underneath. Right. The guy who had it prior, she notched it. It's got a This is static, right? Yeah. Okay. For now. For now? <laughs> I like it. Yeah, what what are we what are you packing under here? This is like a 98 350 with a roller rocker cams in it. It's got a healthy mo cams. healthy motor. Yeah, it sounds good. You know, it's like fully redone, right? He, yeah, he went ahead yeah. and just rebuilt it, so yeah. you know it's all the guts you are know, reliable. Um, I guess uh, it's, uh, Holly was a serpent. Oh, sorry, it's a Holly uh, Avenger. Avenger is one. The the carburetor. Yeah. Okay. You gonna keep that, or I mean, you said it's static for now. For now. I mean, what kind? What? What's for like? Now, I mean, just I kind of. Yeah, just you bought just got it. I'm gonna tell you <laughs> yeah. to rip it apart. <laughs> yeah. And I just bought a house too. So okay. This is. Uh, gotcha. Gotta take baby steps with the wife. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. But it sounds. You're lucky good. she would let you buy this. Yeah. Um. It's got long tube headers and uh, three inch exhaust, so it sounds. And it's freaking sounds patina. Mean, so. so yes. Yeah, awesome man just can't get over it it's got new carpet in it and uh dynamat and everything but we were doing some ac work to it and it made a mess so gotcha this is kind of rough right now but yeah it's it's clean super clean start up pop yeah start this girl up and you, you kind of as much as the carburetors are uh cool you know the fuel injection's cool and all, you almost can't beat that carbureted yeah, like roller roller sound, man. Like we could try to emulate it all you want, but man, that just sounds so cool. He'll rev, rev the shit out of my truck with Yeah, he won't do it to yours. Yeah. Hey, you look good, man. <laughs> One truck, two truck, how many trucks do you need? Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Got a little uh, two for special. Uh, thanks again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. I'm sure we'll see these guys in the future 
with and then we'll kind of follow up on their builds and do all that other good jazzy stuff but again thank you guys for Thanks taking guys. the time Thanks to show to show this uh you know both of these badass trucks so we'll see y'all later